project itself works with young people with visible illnesses. Um, we do support groups, we have a buddy system, just any support we can really. Um, Tony founded Pages Project, um, so she's really been the leader in the, in the whole organisation, got everything together. She always organised meetings, where we're going, what we're doing, she does it all really. Pages Project is a social action project for 11 to 25 year olds with invisible illnesses. Um, and invisible illness is everything from mental health conditions to terminal cancer and everything in between. Um, as long as you can't see it, it's sort of our criteria. I'm the founder of Pages Project, um, which often confuses people because obviously I'm not paid. But yeah, I set it up. Uh, it started off as just a, a monthly drop in uh, where young people just came in, sat down, put the words to their eyes. And now we have five different sort of angles that we deliver sort of. So drop ins, social days out, signposting, education and buddy systems. So Pages Project has been running just under two years, so it's two years old next week. Um, and yeah, I set it up because that seemed like the right thing to do at the time. So I met a load of friends in hospital and we decided this is what we wanted to do. We wanted something like this that didn't exist, so let's do it ourselves. I think she deserves to be nominated because the effort and the work she actually puts into Pages Project, into the community itself is brilliant. Like, I've known Tony, Tony for a long time, I was here at the start of the project and she's just, she's great, she really cares. I think the biggest achievement, uh, I think this is my now go-to one, uh, we have a young person who started with us sort of not long after we set up um, and they've never left the house alone, they've got sort of 18-ish and they've never been on their own on a day out or anything like that um, and they're mute so they use like a computer to sort of talk, so they type in what they want and then that communicates for them and they'd never got the bus on their own, they'd always been the parent, they're sort of 18, they went to a special school, so everyone around them was in a similar situation. And I think we went to go see House Train Art Dragon, whatever number it is, um, and they planned their bus route down there on their own, met us down there independently, all they had to do was text them on being like, oh, by the way, made it, okay. And then made their way back home on their own as well. And I'm like, it seems such a little thing, but for someone to be able to get the self-confidence to do that, despite the fact that they're every other obstacle in their way and they did it successfully without anything going wrong. Like, that's, that's a big thing for someone who hasn't got a disability. For someone to do it with one is even more sort of impressive. Future holds a lot for Tony. She's really going to go places, especially with the youth work uh, that she started and I can only imagine it's going to do great things. So what makes Tony special is just how patient she is like with all the volunteers. Like she's really engaging and just makes you want to sort of get involved like she just she motivates me to sort of keep as enthusiastic as I am you know like it's just really easy to be myself around there easy to sort of get out there and sort of you know get involved it's it's she's inspiring definitely Tony really cares and that's what, that's what makes Tony stand out um, because she does all her effort goes into the group into the organization into us um, it's it's really Amazing.